In lesson number three, we're going to talk about the weighted voting system. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to determine the winning coalitions in a weighted voting system, determine the critical voters, compute the bands of uh, power index and use this value to determine the voters' power. A weighted voting system occurs when voters have an equal weight on the outcome of an election. The idea of this type of voting system is the exact op opposite of the one voter, one vote principle and may be classified as a biased voting system. So we can see examples of weighted voting system in uh, corporations, legislatures, U.S. presidential elections, European Union, and the United Nations Security Council. The weighted voting system, uh, let's, we denote it by W, is characterized by three elements, the players, the quota number, the weights no, of each uh, voters. Conveniently, it can be expressed as follows. So you have the weighted voting system, and then uh, enclosed by brackets, no, you have the quota followed by the different weights uh, in decreasing order. The minimum number of votes that are needed to approve resolution or to pass a measure is called a quota. The weight of a voter is the number of votes controlled by the voter. We describe different types of weighted voting systems as follows. One voter, one vote principle. As a weighted voting system, each voter has one vote, and a majority vote is required to pass a resolution. So, in this example, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have seven voters here. Uh, the majority is 3.5 plus 1, so 4. Point, uh, in this case, the majority is 4. So the quota has to be 4. For dictatorship, the system has one voter whose weight is enough to pass any resolution. So for example, here we have uh, the, the minimum quota is 10. And then there, there is one voter who has a weight of 11. So in this system, even if the other four candidates vote for the re resolution, the total is only seven plus two, so nine, only nine votes. So the sum of votes is, uh, is less than the quota, which is ten. So this particular voter uh, is a dictator. In this system, no resolution can be approved since the sum of the votes is always less than the quota. So for example, you have 7, 5, 3, 2 for, uh, for voters, and the quota is 18. So if, even if you get the sum of all the votes, that is always less than the quota. So this is a null system. A veto power system, if a voter has a veto power, there is one one uh, voter that has a veto power, then it is a veto power system. The resolution will fail if votes, if uh, this uh, voter votes against the resolution. So if one of the voters has a veto power, then it is a veto power system. So in this example, um, uh, four, three, two, two, one, two, five, well, uh, Four, seven. So this is the total is twelve votes. So if one of these 
of voters fails to vote, then no resolution will be passed. So in this particular example, each voter has a veto power. A coalition is defined as a group of voters whose votes are the same, either in favor or against a resolution. A winning resolution is a group of voters whose sum of votes is greater than or equal the quota required to pass a measure. A losing coalition is a group of voters whose sum of votes is less than the quota. A voter is called a critical voter of a winning coalition if these votes can turn the coalition into a losing coalition once he leaves the coalition. A blocking coalition is a group of voters who can prevent the approval of a resolution. A critical voter is a member who uh, leaves a blocking coalition and makes the coalition not capable of preventing the approval of, the, of any resolution. A dummy is a voter whose weight does not affect any voting outcome. And the number of possible coalitions you can make the out, out of n voters will be 2 to the n minus 1. Now what is a Bansa power index? So the, the Bansa power index or BPI is one measure of the power of a voter in a weighted voting system. The voting power of a voter measured by uh, BPI is defined as follows. You count the number of times a voter becomes a critical voter over the total number of critical voters in all the winning coalitions. Let's have example number one. The weighted voting system for a company owned by five people is given by the following. So you have 425, the weights no, for the four voters respectively. You have 425, 250, 175, 350, and the quota is 601. So we'll check if this is 50% plus 1 of the total group. Find all the winning coalitions. For each winning coalition, we determine the critical voters, and then we compute the voting power of each voter. We compute for the BPI. Okay, so go to my Excel solution. Okay. Okay, so you have four four candidates and then the shares for the weighted votes. The quota is we get okay, 50% of the total. The total vote is 1,500. So 0.5 plus 1. So that is 751. So this is based on the majority majority uh, system. Now, if we have four candidates, so That will be two to the two to the four is sixteen. Ah, two to the four is sixteen minus one. So the total number of, of coalitions that you can form is fifteen. Okay. And then what are those? So you have the single tons, okay, A, B, C, D, and then uh, double C, B, A, C, A, B, B, C, B, B, uh, C, D, and then. Uh, Three pods, A, B, C, A, B, D, B, C, D, A, C, D, and then the whole set itself, A, B, C, D. So we have 15 coalitions here. And then we get the total number of votes based on the number of shares here. Okay, so we have, uh, of course, A, B, C, D will have the same as 500, 375, 225, 400. For A, B, okay, so we get the sum of A and B. 
A and C, so A and C, 7 and 2, 5, and so on and so forth. For triples, for example, so we get the sum of A, B, and C, okay, and so on and so forth. Of course, the total for uh, A, B, C, D is 1,500. Now, the winning coalition is the one with uh, whose, uh, whose no, uh, total number of votes or shares is greater than the quota, which is 751. So, okay, so we have here 875, okay, uh, uh, set AB, set AB, BD, ABCD, ABD, BCD, ACD, ABCD. So these are the winning coalitions. And then we check if there are critical voters. So, for example, uh, if this is 875, if you remove A, that's only 375, which is less than 751. And therefore, A is a critical voter. The same is true with B. So, if you remove B, uh, the, the total shares will now be 500, which is less than the quota. So, for AD, so, both A and B are critical voters. For B, D, also B and B. For A, B, C, only A, B are the critical voters. So, meaning uh, 1,100 minus uh, candidate C, 225. So, 1,100 minus uh, 225. So, 875 is still greater than 751. So therefore, candidate C is not a critical vote. So in the same manner, uh, you can check the other coalitions. So th there is no critical vote for ABD. Uh, for BCD, we have B and B, ACD, AD. For ABCD, there is no critical voters. Okay. Now, uh, we count the total number of critical voters. No? So, so a critical voters a voter becomes a critical voter. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the total is 12. For A, uh, for candidate A, he, we have four, four, he, he became a uh, critical voter four times. Okay, so we have four here. Also B, four times. C, zero. D, also four times. So we get the BPI. So the BPI is uh, 4 divided by the total, which is 12. Same is true with B. 0 has no power. If the BP, BPI is 0, so meaning it has no power. Uh, and then also D. So voters A, B, and D have equal or the same voting, voting power. So for more examples and exercises, the ebook is available from the link provided below. Thank you.